Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Gordo here again. Uh, today I want to talk about the M1 Grand. Now, every time you hear somebody talk about it, there's a documentary, somebody does a video, uh, they talk about how it's, they use the George Patton quote, uh, the greatest battlefield implement ever devised by man. Um, but I you know, wanted to try to do a video to show what exactly does that mean. So the M1 Grand was adopted by the U.S. Army to replace the 1903 A3 uh, bolt action rifle that they had used it was adopted in 1903. It was used through World War One, uh, so they adopted the semi-automatic Grand to replace it. So both the M1 Grand and the 1903 model uh, by World War Two is the 1903 A3. They shot the same ammo, the 30-06 M2 ball. Uh, so it, the Grand wasn't more powerful because they shot the same round. Uh, the range, if you wanted to get accurate, super accurate, a thousand yards, the Springfield being a bolt action rifle would have a slight advantage. The Grand was certainly no slouch at long range. So studies have shown that the average combat distance in World War II was under 300 yards. So the extreme accuracy at long range didn't really help. So let's look at, today I want to look at the uh, rate of fire and how fast you can get off to aim shots. So this is my M1 Grand I've had it on the channel before. Uh, it was made in 1942, this one was, and today I'm going to be comparing it with my uh, 03A3 Springfield. This one was manufactured in 1943, so similar age of the weapons. Uh, the Grand has seen a little more service, probably a lot more, but it should be a good comparison for rate of fire. For our test today, uh, I'm shooting the exact same ammo, they're M2 ball, 150 grains. For the Springfield, I have them on these five round stripper clips and the Grand has the, the normal Grand clips. Uh, you can see my target down there. The target's at 50 yards. Uh, why did I pick 50 yards? Well, I didn't want it, you know, real close at like 10 yards because then I wouldn't really have to aim. Let's start our timer. It has a random delay, so we'll see how this works with the Springfield. And we're done. God, that was fun, wasn't it? That was a blast. Okay, the total time for the Springfield, so my timer was 5104. So let's see how we do with the Grand firing the same number of rounds. Now it's the Grand's turn. Let's go ahead and shoot the M1 Grand and see how it does uh, shooting the same number of rounds. Um, I'm probably gonna end up go ahead and firing the 16th round, but I'll compare the 15 rounds. So my timer says 2669, so less than half the time it took for the, the uh, 03 Springfield. Now, I mean, it gave, let's see, the 15th shot was at 2556. So way less than half. Uh, I fired the same, you know, same round. I fired it twice as fast, provided a huge advantage for the soldiers. Uh, compared to everybody else in World War II, the Germans and the Japanese. The U.S. was the only one using a semi-automatic rifle. Everybody else used a bolt action. Uh, that's very similar to the 03 Springfield. Uh, both the, the Mauser, the Springfield, the 03 A3 is derived from the Mauser, and so is the Aras Arasaka, the Japanese used. 
if I mispronounced that, I'm sorry. Uh, my Japanese sucks, but they're, it should be really comparable to what uh, what the enemies at the time were using. So, you know, that's that's why it gave such a great advantage to the U.S. troops in World War II compared to everybody else. If you like this video and want to see more like it, subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you have comments or suggestions, you saw something I did wrong, put them in the comments below. Take care, everybody.